Okay, Lou Depot back here again. And now I have some numbers for you guys with oil-fired boilers. I also have numbers for gas and um, oil-fired boilers with, with, have been converted to gas with a gas-converted gun. But moreover, this is strictly for oil. I want you guys to have these numbers. This is important. It's important for you homeowners. It's also important for you plumbers that aren't sure exactly what the numbers should be when you're doing a combustion analysis. And here they are. Um, acceptable numbers for oil burners. The oxygen level or the reading should be 4% to 7%. The carbon dioxide reading 10% to 12.5%. The stack temperature 325 degrees Fahrenheit to 600 degrees Fahrenheit. And the carbon monoxide the reading should be 50 parts per million or less. Now, don't forget, in oil, those numbers can even be in single digits. You're not going to have much CO, that deadly gas, in oil-fired boilers that are going to kill you, that silent killer, like you do with, with gas boilers. To have that number to be very high in oil-fired boilers, you, at one point, you'd have to have so much black smoke that you would realize something's drastically wrong before the carbon monoxide levels ever got real high. So keep that in mind. That's really more with gas, um, other uh, fuel too. But in oil fired, you, you can even see single digits. Okay, but these are the numbers for oil. If you have an oil fired boiler that has been converted with a gas gun, um, those numbers would be drastically close. I do have a class, a combustion analysis class you can take. It has all the numbers for, every, for all the fuels. If you don't want to take the class because it seems boring and you're not going to be using the combustion analyzer, you're a homeowner, just uh, speed toward the end and get your numbers. Okay, but that's for the oil. It's very important. And um, for you plumbers that are new into the field, combustion analyzers, if you're doing a ModCon boiler, that's a modulating condensing boiler. The new ones that they have on the wall where both pipes are piped outside, suction and exhaust, where the two pipes are outside, breathing in and out for the boiler. You need a combustion analyzer with two probes. The, the in and the out needs to go into both of those. You can't have a combustion analyzer where it's taking the air from downstairs in the basement and the boiler's really breathing the outside air because your, your numbers are going to be off. Okay, so that's also important to know. I uh, hope this helps you guys.